If you own one of these and operate an HF station, your QRN levels may be higher than they need be. In my case, the shortest distance between my HF antenna and the Bofang charger is probably no more than 20 feet. Here's how this charger affects my receiver on 40, 20, and 15 meters. Charger on. Charger off. Charger on. Charger off. 20 meters. Charger on. Charger off. On. Off. On. Off. And here's 15 meters. Charger on. Off. On. Clearly, on these bands, the QRN is higher when the charger is powered up. So now, let's look at a couple of mods to mitigate this issue. The Walwart's electronics can be exposed by lifting the label and removing this single screw. In this clip, you can see my first mod. The 0.01 microfarad capacitor is in parallel with the aluminum electrolytic that's on the high side of the circuit. At RF frequencies, an aluminum cap can look more like an inductor than a capacitor. However, beware there's 165 volts here, so this capacitor needs to be rating accordingly. I found that it did reduce some of the RFI that the HF rig was seeing, but not all of it. The low side of the wall wart already had a surface mount capacitor in parallel with its aluminum filter capacitor. So the second mod I did was to add a split 9mm RFI bead as close to the output as I could place it. Here, I've looped the 10 volt power cord through the bead four times. In theory, the more loops you have, the better it should work, but in practice, after a few turns, you'll reach a point of diminishing returns, plus your cord length decreases with each wrap, so that comes into play as well. So, with these mods in place, let's see how the HF receiver reacts to the charger now. Charger on, off, on, off, 15 meters, power on, power off, power on, Power off. Here we'll try. Here's forty meters. Power on, power off, power on, power off. For this station, these mods made a difference, but your mileage could vary. However, if you have one of these chargers, this might be something you want to look into. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your next project.